Excellent music. Raise your hand if you played this game back in the day, RC Pro-Am. Released in 1988 for the Nintendo Entertainment System, and as far as I'm concerned, this is the precursor to today's popular Mario Kart and kart racing series of games. And the biggest mistake that you could make playing this game again if you had it as a kid is thinking that it's easy because you were good at it when you were a kid. RC Pro-Am is deceptively challenging. This game is really hard and requires serious repeat gameplay and track memorization or you will not get anywhere in RC Pro-Am. Some 20 years later, I realized how much better I was at video games in 1988. Of course, to be fair, I had a lot more time back then to devote to RC Pro-Am. And who doesn't love this game? If you play it, you can't help but enjoy RC Pro-Am. It's outrageously fun and has many of the same qualities that make the Mario Kart series awesome. It's a light-hearted driving game, there's power-ups laying on the track, you can pick up weapons like missiles and bombs, and there's always an element of chance in each race, where even if you're in first place, at any moment you could instantly be sent back to last place. Finding this game again recently for a whopping $2.50 was awesome because it's one I've talked about a lot but, but haven't had in my collection for a while. I picked it up and I've been playing it and just realized it's, it's just not that easy. It's a very odd perspective if you're used to most driving games these days. As you can see, it's got that three-quarter view top-down perspective and the controls are touchy. It handles like RC Pro-Am, not like Mario Kart in that it's not really easy to get your vehicle pointing exactly where you want it to go. And you come up on turns very quickly, you don't really see that much of the track in the window, which is why memorization is so critical. That was a good finish. I shot the guy right on the finish line, stole first place. It's that kind of stuff that makes RC Pro-Am awesome. And while the series has had sequels, and there's even a version on the Genesis, it's not one that's really continued through the modern era. Which is disappointing, perhaps because of the decline in popularity of RC cars and hobby shops in general. I was glad to see that Smash Cars on the PlayStation 3 brought back some RC car action, although it's a totally different style of game. Which captured the fun and excitement of playing with RC cars, as does RC Pro-Am. It's a totally different feeling than playing as some fantastic character from the Mushroom Kingdom in some kind of futuristic cart thingy. Because when you drive remote controlled cars, you're driving a real car in your head, even if you're launching it off of boards over trash cans and into piles of leaves. One thing about this game that I like is the sound effects, which if you close your eyes, sound exactly like Godzilla vs. Monster Zero. As you may have noticed, I changed vehicles after several races, and you're picking up upgrade parts on the track through each race, which modify and increase the performance of your RC car. There's obstacles on the track, and as you play through the game, it looks more or less the same, but the tracks become more challenging, primarily because there's just more stuff on them. How much fun is this game? It even looks fun when you're watching it. It is fun. I can't recommend RC Pro-Am highly enough. I almost said RC Car Action, the magazine. This brings back memories of when I had my Kyosho Ultima, which ran out of batteries in like 30 seconds, but that was a 30 seconds of joy. For an unbelievably affordable price, RC Pro-Am will give you far more than 30 seconds of joy. In fact, of all the old-school Nintendo games that I've reviewed, this is probably one of the most playable by modern standards. If they re-released this today with slightly modified graphics, it would be just as much fun. 
Assuming you're not driving the wrong direction like I was just then. RC Pro-Am, a game series that needs to make a major comeback, as long as it keeps the Godzilla and Monster Zero sound effects. <laughs>